What's good, guys? It's your boy, CTC. Since I actually liked Man of Medan quite a bit, I actually had, until dawn, I haven't played it a single time. Have absolutely no idea what the storyline is. So we're actually going to give this a try, and we're going to have some fun. I'm probably going to put up maybe three or four videos of it, and we'll see what's good. Maybe I can save everyone. The butterfly effect. Tiny butterfly flying and flapping its wings today may lead to it. Yeah, yeah, right, dude. I'm sorry, I understand the effect, but absolutely not. Yeah, a small decision can change the future. Yeah, because that's how these games work, man. Literally every decision I make literally can get people killed. Bro, I know damn well I'll probably get everyone killed here. So. Oh, it's one of many possibilities. Well, yeah. I still can't believe on Man of Medan, the only person I got killed was Julia. I should have just lied and told that dude there was something behind him. I should have known that he would have just fucking shot us in the forehead. Like, I should have known. Um, that's not weird. In the middle of the woods in a house. Oh, this reminds me of Quarry. The, the house reminds me of Quarry, like the camp. Oh god. We're already getting into this, man. Seriously. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Alright, let's, uh, let's actually put on subtitles. My, okay, I guess not. I can't do it yet, I guess. I think this is a little bit cruel. Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Anne. Are you actually looking out for her, or are you like one of those friends that says she's looking out, but actually treats her like shit? I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Wow, there are a lot of characters. I'm definitely getting at least one kill then, if there's this many characters. I'm gonna make a bad decision somewhere. <laughs> Like, what is, what are we doing here? Why are we all hiding? She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? Oh, you guys are just treating her like that, bro? Are you serious? You're just treating her horribly like that? I don't know why that network failed, but... That was a weird Did error, but... That? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh! Um... Uh, is it, are these people okay, or are they all, like, drinking too much? Like, what happened? I can walk, I can walk faster without one. Thank the lord, man. I absolutely hate when they do this. Yeah, I understand this. I know how to do this, man. Come on. That looks disgusting. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Um, I gotta play Fortnite while drinking. Every time I die, I, I have to drink a beer. I'd probably be hammered really quick. <laughs> Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. I bet you're even hotter out of it guest room at 2 a.m. Oh what did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your oh, number. come Watch on, bro. Don't be doing this to her. You guys are horrible for this. No way she's Maybe taking off her clothes immediately. You know, making out? Oh, I thought he was going to say foreplay. She, she's just going for it. He didn't want it. He... Okay. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. 
Yeah, why? Like, why are you guys filming this? Like, what is wrong with you people? Hannah, I'm sorry, Hannah. It's all gonna happen. Just a stupid prank. Uh. Hey, you guys are jerks. Yeah, that's. You guys are horrible people for that. Absolutely. Oh, Hannah's dead for sure. Um. Uh, I'm just gonna find others. Guys, there's someone outside. No point in waking him. He's drunk as hell, so it ain't gonna do nothing. Hannah, what's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? That's not even a prank. You guys are messed up, man. You jerk. Her. You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, shit. I mean, we're not going to go fast. Might as well just take it safe and just go down the stairs. I don't want to mess up a QTE and ruin everything. Oh, I made a bad decision, didn't I? They're gonna attack her. Oh, okay, or not. That shadow was absolutely awful. Hannah! You ain't jump scaring me this time, bud. Nope. You ain't catching Hello? me with a jump scare on that one. Um, this is like some tribal stuff. What is this? Okay, I didn't know that that's how I actually see how someone dies. I thought I was like losing my mind when that thing started looking into the mouth. Well, there's why is why is there so much whispers? Like, what is going on? Hannah. Hannah. Hello. Hannah. Oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I think he did like you, but he was just listening to everyone else. Because he said, oh, hell yeah. Because I think he actually did like you. Well, there goes your phone. They're dead. They're absolutely dead. It's over. Hold on. Hold on. No, if we're if we're going, we're going together.
Whoa. That one's definitely dead. Oh, they're both dead. Alright. Well. Yeah, if we're if we're both if we're going, we're going together. Like no. The analyst? Dr. AJ Hill. Well, I got two people killed already, so it just is what it is. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. Oh, so nothing would have mattered. Have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Yeah, no shit. You're getting way too close, man. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Alright, can I can I actually turn on the subtitles now? Yes. Thank you. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary. Yeah, it's gonna be more than just scary. I'm probably horrified. No matter how upsetting things may be. You will always find a way to work through it. I'll probably get everyone killed just by your wording. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about oh, it. Oh, God. It is, essential that you is it one of those, one one of those tests where I look at an ink blot? Rorschach test or whatever? Um, excuse me? I was going to say, can I pick it up? How do I feel about it? So, how did that picture make you feel? Confused. Yeah, it makes, and honestly, it makes me uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. <clears throat> what do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Yeah, the scarecrow, dude. Absolutely. Oh, I see. I see. Let's see. I've never liked scarecrows scarecrow. in my life. We're not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Absolutely no. Example. Absolutely not. Oh no. Why not? Yeah, I'd be scared, like. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? These are some, yeah, you got it. Sure, man, sure. That's intriguing. But perhaps we can explore the depths of your fears. Oh, does he learn my fears because of this? Does the game adjust because of my fears like I don't I just don't like scarecrows man those things are weird plus every time I went to Halloween there would always be a dude in a scarecrow outfit like sitting outside on the porch and he'll just scare the kids for fun I just hated people like that absolutely hated them
Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, there's an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. What is sacred about this place? They searched the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Hey, it's not a mysterious, well, they're both dead. Uh, like, it's, it's not dead. mysterious. Their friends should know that they clearly died. Oh my gosh, it's right. Rami Malik. Well, hello, yes! I love you, Rami Malik. Awesome I love you so much, man. You guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> Rami so, Malik, I, uh, I absolutely love you, know, you as an actor. Uh, You're fantastic. Awesome. Address the elephant in the room for a second. Your elephant peepee? -pee? I know. You're all probably worried about Rami me. Malik's a master. It's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know um, it means means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and you know okay so Let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we'll um, never forget, all right? Okay, yes. like, don't word it like that, because then it's just a huge, massive orgy or some shit, dude. That's just weird. Alright, that chapel is just weird with a horse there, man. What? Memento Mori. Well, clearly that's Latin, for, so. Death Memento. So, whatever. Like, uh, who is this guy, man? Like, he, he appeared at the house before. Sam, Hannah's best friend, considerate adventurous. I don't like the traits, man. Diligent, too. I don't like it when they have traits. Oh, I have to hit continue. Hello? Is someone there? Okay, that's just creepy, bro. Like, what was up with, like, the... <laughs> like, bro, are you okay over there? Like, you having a heart attack or something? Uh, clearly it's only that that I can click on. I didn't see anything else. The gate's busted. Climb over. Dude, why, why would you leave a note to saying climb over? I'm going to be completely honest, I would just 
kick the uh, the fence. That's just me. I'm that guy that just likes the safety, so. Oh, come on, bro. Really? My god, it's so stupid. I'm so bad with click times, man. This one's gonna be a triangle, obviously. It's gonna be a triangle again. There we go. Is that the last one now? Nope, of course. My big fat finger didn't hit the triangle that time. Please don't jump off. I can't promise I can't promise your safety if you jump. Alright. Dude, you need to relax with like this creepy like breathing, man. You need to relax with that. That is really quite annoying. I'm very good at keeping this from not moving. <laughs> this is how I am. Oh, I can check the, uh, oh yeah, that's how I check everything. Alright. They didn't have that in the other one. You can only just check traits and everything. I didn't like doing that in the first place anyway. <laughs> cool. Black means death, red means dangerous events, brown means loss, guidance is yellow, fortune is white. Okay. Oh my god, are they giving me another one? Okay, can I pick it up? Dude, I'm pressing R2. Thank you. My lord, I didn't need to sit there and stare at it for that long. That, um, okay. Oh, each one is differently colored. Okay. That's what that means. I am so stupid when it comes to stuff like this, man. I'm just way too dumb. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. The pass is beyond our control. I mean, uh, that just seems like something Hannah would actually write, since they all—they pretty much died. There, I was gonna say, there's got to be something. Not in the bag, are you? That's got to be him. That's got to be him hiding, isn't it? I'm going, I mean, I'm going for the snoop. I'm going for the snoop for sure. Uh -huh. Of course my thing changes it. He knows it. Chris. Has a crush on Ashley, oh god. You scared me. I, I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well... Thanks for letting me know. I, I oh, her name's Sam. I'm losing it, dude. I'm so stupid. If it's Ashley, that's cool, man. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. A wanted poster, Victor Milgram, 62 Black Pines, 1998. He's as old, he's almost as old as me. Am I a murderer now? Does that make me a murderer? I'm 6'1", and I'm born in 99. Beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah, I was gonna say, like every guy wants something like that. 
now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Oh, now I'm Chris. Here goes. Oh, this is fun. Did I miss that one? Oh, I was gonna say, I thought I missed it. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Bro, what? Am I supposed to shoot a squirrel now? No, I'm not shooting a squirrel. Absolutely not. Nope. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Yeah, I don't I don't want to shoot a squirrel, man. That that squirrel did nothing wrong. Like there was no issue there. Oh my gosh, there's an update already. Dude, there's no way. I feel like the the murder is like trying to protect nature, so I'm kind of I'm hoping that's the that's why I didn't shoot the squirrel. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got, hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah, uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked, keep people out. He said that. What people? I I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. I was going to say, am I just opening it then? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't shoot no squirrel, bro. I'm not, especially in front of a girl. Like, yeah, you, you ain't impressing nothing if you shoot that squirrel. You ain't improving nothing. You're just going to make yourself look like a piece of shit. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. You're not so rich. Bottom mountain. Am I going to be able to see something else? Or is it just... Okay, it's just that, I guess. Okay. Well, that does nothing for me. I the car was closer. Nope, guess, gotta guess not. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this going to take? Oh, I thought there was something happening, like, well, I was going to get murdered or something. I heard that sound. I thought it was the music playing. It was just the cart. Sleeping giant. Oh, shut up. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some Z's, but... Okay. I mean, this guy literally has my personality. Literally my personality, just making just like stupid and obnoxious comments. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Because he probably Good. planned all this, and he's really excited about it, and everything's going to go to shit, and he's not going to be happy. It was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. I mean, <sighs> what happened is pretty horrible, you know so... Happened? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. Of course you did. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a shitty story. Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like... 
three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. And right she now, probably would be a lot happier. Some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Of course she brings up the butterfly effect. Of course he does. <clears throat> I think that's Ashley, isn't it? Nope, Jess. Mike's new girlfriend, trusting, confident, irreverent. Irreverent. I don't. I don't even know what that means. But boy, oh boy, oh boy. I thought I said irrelevant for a second. I'm like, oh, so she's just garbage, I guess. Like, there's nothing over here that I can actually look at. Are you serious? Nothing. Literally nothing. Really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. You really so don't, dude. Yeah. I, I don't see any muscle, dude. Absolutely hey. not. I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. So that's why I shouldn't goodness. have looked at his stuff. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. I'm in. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I wouldn't have been insistent. He would have been a douche about it. He would have just, like, I would have tried to grab for it. He would have pulled his ar arm away and read it anyway. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. I mean, it's her boyfriend, so why wouldn't she be happy? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. I'm gonna be honest, during the night time, that looks horrifying. Right where the cable car ends. Oh, I remember her. I, I remember her from something. Hi, Matt. Emily's new boyfriend, ambitious, active, motivated. And where's the so he's gonna be the one saving everyone then. I like how she's just like making this man carry everything. Like every man should do that, but she didn't even consider like asking, like if he wanted help. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> Mike, why would you scare your ex? Why wouldn't you be with your girlfriend? <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. It's the extremely spooky. We should not be in the middle of the you? woods with just teenagers. Like the be like that like what the way you're being you always get like this <laughs> yeah I'm gonna be nice about it Michael, Michael I'm just gonna lay it out otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone um, yeah thank you that's a great way to word it awkward, and we all know it let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on okay Matt I hear you man I get it I don't want to make this weird yeah, there's no point in threatening him and being like you guys a dick. Gonna make out now? Oh my god, oh. totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> this guy is that's exactly what I would have said, honestly. Some of these characters are exactly like me, I because they're so obnoxious. So that's I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Uh, 
Why? Well, uh, yeah, like what? I need to go find Sam. No, you're going to see Mike. Okay. Sorry, clearly. I, just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with you. Ben, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're going to protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's going to steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why yeah, you you're over the Why top. Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. I mean, he if is motivated, helpful, so this is how he would be. Get up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Uh, okay. Hey, okay, you're a dick to Matt. Matt's Thank actually you. pretty cool. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. No, you're gonna go see Mike, clearly. And he's not gonna be happy. Like, sorry, but if you if you start talking to Mike, I will have Matt just completely leave you. I don't even care what choices. If it gets, like, a bunch of people killed, I just don't want Matt going to you. If you go and see Mike. Has a crush on Chris. So, Ashley and Chris both like each other. So, like, why don't they just be together, then? Like, why won't they just admit it and just be happy together? Um, excuse me? What is going on? Oh, there hello, we go. Hello. I knew it. Somebody's I absolutely shy. knew it. In the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big Bro, yeah, I'm not. Mm-mm. If you kiss him or something, I'm having Matt leave you. Oh! oh okay, that actually did scare me that time. Whoa. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. You don't want to gonna... look in there, bro. See, no, I'm going to uh, have him look, though. Out. Uh... No, I'm letting him look. He uh, deserves to know. He deserves uh, to know, absolutely. Uh, I don't care if it gets people killed. He deserves to know. Uh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, no, it's it definitely something. Yeah, you, it's know. definitely God, something. Yeah, he deserves to know. I'm sorry. If it gets people killed, he needs to know. I I'm sorry. I don't care if everyone dies because of it. He deserves to know. I don't want him being with an absolute douchebag of a person. So. Uh, yeah, we'll check our phone. There's probably no reception, but we're going to check our phone instead. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Perfect throw. Oh. <laughs> Great. Hey, you know that? I mean, he was talking to his ex. You shouldn't even have done. Oh! Ah. Hey! Oh snap! Oh, I didn't know I was had a thing on on her. That's what it meant by not hitting anything. Oh, I'm stupid. Stone cold, Jess. I didn't do it on purpose. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, he's probably not gonna be happy that I accidentally killed a bird. Oh my god. 
I should have just listened to the tip. Michael? City. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Nope. Ah! You deserve it for talking to em Emily. You deserve it. You don't deserve a kiss. Absolutely sure not. Really gonna get it. What am I going to get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Oh, God. You're talking to your ex, bro. I don't want either. I don't want either Matt or. Uh, yeah, sounds like. Whoa! Oh, my God. That. Dude, we already could have got that him killed. Are you serious? Really close. That thing was going to kill us. Yeah. I mean. Wow, if you hadn't pulled us out of the way, toast. Let's get out of here. Bro, they all they both could have died that quickly? Are you serious? Well, that's ridiculous. Oh god, who's this? What's up, Daddy? I accidentally clicked pause because I'm just that way, I guess. Feeling great, man. It seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. Okay. Like, what are we doing now? This time, we're I want you to. Try to understand oh. Of your I thought it was going to be another picture. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Um, okay. A man and a woman? I mean, honestly, women worry me for sure. They just, they're just, I don't know, man. It's questionable. Planes, I would say planes scare me way more than crowds. Absolutely. Oh, drowning or I hate heights in general. That's awful. I snap uh, snakes for sure, dude. Absolutely. Snakes are way more scary than rats. Absolutely. A gun or a knife. I mean guns can kill at range, so knives you, you gotta be pretty accurate with throwing them. I kind of know snakes for sure, dude. Absolutely. Definitely snakes. Is he just taking notes and I got to keep doing this? Clowns are... Uh, ooh, that's really hard. Uh, scarecrows. Gore or crows? I mean, gore is not really that bad, so I'm gonna go with crows, because crows can just peck at you, I guess. Dude, why did you startle me for that? Like, what? You're doing very well. Don't be nervous, bro. I, like, yeah, that, dude, jump scaring me is not helpful right now. I don't like horror games in general. It just makes it worse. Speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I gotta be fast with my answers. Spiders. I hate spiders, so. Snakes aren't as bad as spiders, in my opinion. Needles, for sure, bro. Needles are ass. Can't, okay, I can't keep going fast if you keep doing this. Zombies. Scarecrows are not as horrifying as zombies. Dogs? No, I'm not scared of dogs. That's not even a dog, that's a wolf. Storms? No, needles. I don't really care about storms. Storms don't really scare me. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> You're welcome, Dad. Spiders, zombies, and needles. 
A summer uh, combination sounds like a good Friday night. Uh, not really, dude. That doesn't sound very fun to me. Uh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Thanks, man.